human guttural screams of agony pierced the slimy flesh walls of the Saurian torture pit, screams that would soon turn to alien shrieks of suffering and regret. Captain James Hawkeye Wilson of the Human Special Forces dangled from chains in a putrid cell. Saurian guards had stripped him naked, beating his body purple and injecting him with searing truth serums. Hawkeye grit his teeth through the pain. He had stayed behind to cover his team's escape from a sabotage Saurian weapons depot. He knew capture and interrogation was inevitable. The Saurians had never encountered humans before. Hawkeye would make sure they never forgot this first meeting. If he broke under torture, humanity's plans to end Saurian tyranny would be revealed. The survival of Earth's entire rebellion hinged on Hawkeye's iron will in the face of suffering. The Saurians would soon realize their grave error in thinking they could break a human so easily. Krulak slammed his fist on the control panel, his frustration boiling over. This damned human was unlike any prisoner he had interrogated before. The truth serums that would make a Saurian spill their guts did nothing. Beatings that turned the pink flesh of these Terrans black and blue just made the human grunt and spit blood in his face. You are trying my patience, Eartha. Krulax growled. I will get the information I seek one way or another. We have all the time in the universe. This can stop any time you wish. Just tell me what I want to know. The human glared back at him with one swollen eye. Do your worst, you slimy piece of shit. Krulax would make him regret those words. He turned a dial, sending bolts of electricity arcing through the prisoner's body. The human screamed, his muscles spasming from the energy, but still he did not talk. Next, Krulax filled the prisoner's cell with water, submerging his head. The human thrashed against his chains, bubbles streaming from his mouth and nose. Only when the thrashing slowed did Krulax drain the water, letting him gasp for breath. Your resilience is impressive, Eartha, but ultimately futile. We are the superior species. You only delay the inevitable. If you're so superior... Why haven't you conquered Earth already? You underestimate us. That'll be your downfall, the human rasped. Krulak snarled. He was done playing games. He would rip what he needed directly from the human's mind. He had a device for just such stubborn prisoners, reserved only for the most extreme cases. It was time to put it to use. He brought in a spherical contraption, covered in blinking lights and protruding wires. The human eyed it warily as Krulax attached the electrodes to his skull. This will be unpleasant for you, Eartha. Last chance to spare yourself the agony and tell me what I want to know. The human spat. Fuck you. Very well. Let us see how long your resolve lasts against this. Krulax activated the device. It hummed to life, glowing with ominous energy. The human threw his head back and howled, his muscles straining against his shackles. Every nerve in his body felt like it was being flayed raw. White hot pain seared through his skull as the machine tried to force its way into his mind. But even against this onslaught, the human fought back. He ground his teeth, tendons popping in his neck as he resisted the mind probe with all his strength. Memories flashed through his head, his training, his comrades, his sheer iron will, a mental bulwark against the invasive device, Krulax watched in disbelief as the human defied the mind probe. It should have been impossible. This Earther's fortitude was like nothing he had ever seen. What other surprises did this species have in store? He found himself eager to find out. He would break this human no matter what it took. Not just for the information now, this was personal. He would prove Saurian superiority over these upstart Terrans. The human's resistance was admirable but futile. Krulax would rip the secrets from his brain, shattering his will in the process. It was only a matter of time. Days blurred together into weeks as Hawkeye hung in chains, his world narrowed down to the dank cell and Krulax's cruel ministrations. The Saurian interrogator subjected him to every torture method in the book. Electric shocks seared his nerves. Waterboarding filled his lungs with liquid fire. Mind probes clawed at his psyche, trying to tear out Earth's secrets. Through it all, Hawkeye endured. He retreated deep into his mind, to a place where the pain couldn't reach him. He focused on his training, the techniques drilled into him to resist breaking. 
He pictured his squad mates, his friends, all counting on him to stay strong. He thought of Earth, his home, and the billions of lives depending on him. He would not let them down. He would die before he betrayed his people. This alien scum would never break him. Krulax entered the cell, frustration etched on his slimy features. Hawkeye had come to know that expression well. It meant the Saurian was at his wit's end. Good. But this time Krulax wasn't alone. He dragged in another Saurian, younger, fear shining in his beady eyes. The interrogator shoved the youth to his knees in front of Hawkeye. This is Zarek, a soldier in training, Krulak sneered. He will suffer the consequences of your stubbornness. Hawkeye's heart clenched. He was prepared to endure anything they did to him. But this kid? Memories of his own training, of the green recruits under his command, flashed through his mind. Krulak's pulled out a wicked-looking blade. I will flay the skin from his bones, Ertha, unless you give me what I want. Hawkeye met Zarek's terrified gaze. He saw the pleading there, the desperate hope that Hawkeye would save him. Something inside Hawkeye snapped, an innocent life in exchange for information. Unacceptable. Fuck you, Hawkeye spat. You think I'll let you torture a kid just to get me to talk? I'll die before I let that happen. Krulax paused. He hadn't expected that response. Hawkeye seized his chance. With a roar, he wrenched against his chains with all his strength. The metal links weakened from weeks of strain, snapped like twigs. Krulak stumbled back in shock as Hawkeye launched himself at the Saurian. Hawkeye slammed his fist into Krulak's throat, crushing his larynx. The Saurian gurgled, Ikor spewing from his mouth. Hawkeye followed up with a knee to the abdomen, rupturing organs. He finished with a precise strike to a nerve cluster, sending Krulak crumpling. It was over in seconds. Hawkeye stood over the interrogator's twitching body, breathing hard. He turned to Zarek, who stared at him in awe. Come on, kid, let's get out of here. Zarek scrambled to his feet. You, you saved me, after everything we did to you. Why? Hawkeye met his gaze. Because it was the right thing to do. I don't care what species you are. I won't let an innocent suffer, not on my watch. Zarek nodded slowly. A glimmer of determination entered his eyes. I'll help you escape. This is wrong. You've shown me that. Whatever you need, I'm with you. A grin split Hawkeye's battered face. Looks like this is the start of a beautiful friendship, kid. Now let's move. We've got a planet to save. Hawkeye and Zarek crept through the slimy corridors of the Saurian facility, the human leaning on his newfound ally for support. Weeks of torture had taken their toll, but adrenaline and sheer determination kept Hawkeye moving. Zarek guided them through twisting passages, avoiding patrols with his insider knowledge. As they turned a corner, Hawkeye froze. Through a transparent membrane, he glimpsed a group of humans huddled together in a cramped cell. Their uniforms were tattered, their faces gaunt, but he recognized them instantly. Fellow soldiers, captured in previous battles. Says Zarek, wait, Hawkeye whispered. We have to free them. The young Saurian hesitated. It's risky. The more of us there are, the harder it will be to escape undetected. Hawkeye met his gaze, his one good eye blazing with resolve. I'm not leaving them behind. They'd do the same for me. Zarek held his stare for a long moment, then nodded. Okay, I'll get the door open. Be ready to move fast. The Saurian placed his palm against a squelching control panel. The membrane peeled back with a wet sucking sound. Hawkeye stumbled into the cell, his compatriots looking up in shock. Captain Wilson, is that really you? One man asked, his voice raspy from disuse. In the flesh, Hawkeye grinned. Though I've looked better, we're getting out of here, all of us. Hope kindled in their haunted eyes. They hauled each other to their feet, ready to follow his lead. Hawkeye grabbed a jagged piece of metal, his makeshift weapon. It would have to do until he could get his hands on something better. Zarek hissed a warning. Guards coming, we need to go now. Hawkeye motioned for the others to follow. They crept down the hallway, a ragtag band of survivors with Zarek in the lead. The Saurian held up a hand, signaling them to halt. Voices echoed from around the corner, drawing closer. Hawkeye tensed, adrenaline surging. As the guards rounded the bend, 
he let out a primal roar and charged. The Saurians barely had time to register the surprise attack before Hawkeye was on them. He lashed out with his improvised blade, slashing through tough hide. His other hand found a guard's throat, crushing the delicate gills. Hawkeye moved like a whirlwind, a lifetime of training and weeks of pent-up rage fueling his assault. The other humans surged forward, overpowering the remaining guards through sheer numbers and desperation. They stripped the corpses of weapons, arming themselves with Saurian plasma rifles and vibroblades. The alarms blared through the complex, a wailing klaxon that set Hawkeye's teeth on edge. Their escape had been discovered. Stealth was no longer an option. Speed was their only chance now. The hangar, Zarek yelled over the alarms. It's our best shot, this way. They pelted through the fleshy halls, Saurian ichor splashing underfoot. Guards boiled out to meet them, plasma fire filling the air. Hawkeye returned fire, his appropriated rifle spitting searing bolts of energy. His fellow soldiers fanned out, laying down suppressing fire as they pushed forward. A plasma bolt sizzled past Hawkeye's ear, close enough to scorch his hair. He snapped off a shot, catching the offending Saurian between its bulbous eyes. The alien toppled, Ikor splattering the walls. After what felt like an eternity of running and gunning, they burst into the cavernous hangar bay. A handful of shuttles squatted on the deck, their curves glistening with condensation. Hawkeye sprinted for the nearest one, his team close on his heels. Zarik slapped the control panel, and the hatch dilated open with a wet squelch. They piled inside, Hawkeye hammering the hatch closed behind them. Plasma bolts pinged off the shuttle's hull as he slid into the pilot's seat. The controls were strange, pulsing and organic, but he'd flown weirder. Hang on! Hawkeye shouted, slamming his palm onto the launch button. The shuttle lurched, alien engines howling. G-forces crushed him back into the seat as the small craft hurtled out of the hangar and into open space. Hawkeye risked a glance back at his bedraggled crew. They were battered, filthy and traumatized, but alive. Zarek met his gaze, something like respect glimmering in the Saurian's eyes. You did it, Zarek said softly. I didn't think it was possible, but you actually did it. Hawkeye managed a tight smile. We all did it, and you're one of us now, kid, no going back. Zarek looked out at the stars streaking past, his expression unreadable. I know my place is with you now, with the Terrans. My people, we've been wrong about so much. It's time for a change. Hawkeye clasped the young Saurian's shoulder. Damn right it is, and you're going to help us bring that change together. He turned back to the console, plotting a course for the nearest Earth outpost. They had a long fight ahead of them, against an implacable foe. But, with Zarek's knowledge of Saurian tactics and Hawkeye's indomitable human spirit, they just might stand a chance. It was time to take the war to the enemy. Time to show the Saurians what humanity was truly made of. The stolen Saurian shuttle shuddered as it punched through the upper atmosphere, the hull glowing cherry red from the friction. Hawkeye gripped the organic controls, his knuckles white as he fought to keep the craft steady. The other humans clung to their seats, battered but determined, their eyes fixed on the viewscreen. Suddenly the skies ahead filled with a dizzying array of ships and explosions. Hawkeye squinted, hardly daring to believe what he was seeing. Those were Earth ships out there, their familiar angular hulls a stark contrast to the bulbous Saurian craft, and they were giving the aliens hell. Holy shit, one of the escaped prisoners breathed. Is that reinforcements? Zarek leaned forward, his eyes widening. An Earth battle fleet. They must have received your distress signal. Memories flooded back to Hawkeye, his team planting the charges in the Saurian weapons depot. The frantic escape, the desperate transmission sent out before his capture. They'd done it. Against all odds, the message had gotten through. Plasma beams and missiles crisscrossed the void, Earth and Saurian ships twirling in a deadly dance. Explosions bloomed like hellish flowers as vessels on both sides took hits. It was a full-scale space battle, the kind Hawkeye had only seen in Sims and Vids. He keyed the comms, praying the Earth ships would recognize the signal. 
This is Captain James Wilson of the Earth Special Forces. I'm in a commandeered Saurian shuttle with human prisoners aboard, requesting immediate assistance. For a heart-stopping moment, there was nothing but static. Then a voice crackled through the speakers, tight with barely restrained emotion. Captain Wilson, you magnificent bastard, I knew you were too stubborn to die. This is Admiral Prescott of the ESS Indomitable. We'll cover you. Head for the flagship now. Hawkeye nearly wept with relief. They were going to make it. Against all odds, they were actually going to make it. He glanced at Zarik, a fierce grin spreading across his face. You ready to stick it to your former buddies, kid? The young Saurian matched his predatory smile. Let's make them regret the day they ever heard the name Human. Hawkeye gunned the engines, the shuttle surging forward. Earth fighters fell in around them, escorting them through the chaos. Ahead, the massive bulk of the Indomitable loomed, its guns blazing as it traded fire with a Saurian dreadnought. I've got intel on the Saurian command post, Hawkeye shouted into the comms. High-value targets, troop deployments, the works. I can guide you right to their nerve center. Music to my ears, Captain, Admiral Prescott replied grimly. Transmit that data and we'll light them up like the 4th of July. It's time we finished this fight, on our terms. Hawkeye's fingers flew over the console, Zarek assisting with his inside knowledge of Saurian systems. Together, they uploaded everything they knew about the enemy stronghold, on the view screen, they watched as the Earth fleet repositioned, focusing their fire on the key targets Hawkeye had identified. The Saurian ships reeled under the onslaught, their formation crumbling, explosions chained across the alien command post as the Indomitable's guns found their mark. Cheers erupted in the shuttle's cramped confines as the humans witnessed the tide of battle turning before their eyes. Hawkeye slumped back in his chair, exhaustion and relief warring within him. They'd done it. The intel he'd provided was leading the Earth forces to victory. As the last Saurian capital ship burst into flames, Admiral Prescott's voice filled the comms once more, thick with emotion. Captain Wilson, you crazy, heroic son of a bitch. I don't know how you did it, but you just turned the tide of this whole damn war. The Saurians are in full retreat. We've won. Hawkeye looked around at his ragtag band the prisoners he'd freed, the young Saurian who'd turned his back on his own kind to do what was right. Pride swelled in his chest. We all did it, Admiral, every last one of us. And we couldn't have done it without Zarek here, he's one of us now. There was a pause. Then Admiral Prescott spoke again, his voice warm. Any friend of Jim Wilson is a friend of Earth. Bring your new recruit aboard, Captain. It's time we welcomed our heroes home. As the shuttle slid into the Indomitable's hangar bay, Hawkeye felt a weight lift from his shoulders. The nightmare was over. He was going home, back to an Earth made safer by their sacrifice and courage. He glanced at Zarek, seeing the same mix of exhaustion and elation in the young Saurian's eyes. You ready for this, kid? It's going to be one hell of a debriefing. Zarek straightened his shoulders, a fierce light in his gaze. I'm ready. My people need to know the truth about the humans, about the strength and honor I've seen in you. It's time for a new beginning between our kinds. Hawkeye clasped his arm, a warrior's salute. Couldn't have said it better myself. Now let's get out there and face the music. Together. The hatch hissed open, and together the human and the Saurian stepped out into the bright lights of the hangar bay, ready to face a future they'd forge through blood, sacrifice, and an unbreakable bond of brotherhood. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.